titillating Tuesday. Does it make you laugh? <laughs> I'm listening to my new track, innit? <laughs> Just made it now, you know, I'm reviewing it. Yo, anyway, back to this chat. Yeah. Um, I was thinking street theatre that's designed to make us sad, to make us freak out. Can you imagine people have time to do all that? <laughs> You can imagine these perps here, yeah, you're like, you're actually paid to go out there and act out a scene. Like a script you saw in a movie. <laughs> like, this these perps get difficult though, they get um a bit silly, like you could even support a football team or any other kind of team and they determine to make them lose. Kind of give you that defeated feeling, but those are things we support, those are not things we really believe in because we know that things can be fixed but <laughs> this world is funny when you're looking at these parts man yeah people have time to fix things yeah like for me the almighty is when randomness prevails yeah and things are not fixed the winner is not determined and it's genuine, it's down to skill. And if luck plays a part, it's neutral. But nowadays, some of the luck you see is set up, man, and ruins everything, man, you know? But I suppose if you're a part, you're getting paid, you don't really give a damn who, <laughs> what you have to do. You just get, get your money and you're done. But it's just sad from... From the targeted individual's point of view, we feel, I feel sorry for perpetrators. It's like, yeah, you're, you're a perpetrator. You're like a bogey. <laughs> and that's your role in life. And when you're on your deathbed and you say, what did I do for the world? <laughs> I was a bogey. <laughs> that's all I was. <laughs> But what I wanted to know is that, do perps get perped on? Like, do people shoot them into doing the things they do? Does somebody terrorise their mind and make them feel like they're perps, they'll never amount to nothing, so they might as well be a bogey, somebody who <laughs> perpetrates on other human beings when they're living their lives. I, I don't know what possesses somebody to be a perpetrator. <laughs> What a way to waste your time, man. Yeah. It's like, you have no goal in life but to perpetrate on people. <laughs> you can imagine you're in kindergarten thinking, hold on, when I grow up, I want to be a perp. I mean, <laughs> is there any way of marketing that? Like, are they marketing us and we haven't really noticed it? Yeah. Do they put out adverts like, you know, you can become a perp. You know how you're nothing in your life, yeah? You know amount to nothing anyway. So become a pup. We see. <laughs> Pupping, I suppose there's a lot of bored people in the world, so somebody's got to do it, innit? Yeah? Just every every side of the human psyche is covered, man. If there's a demand for something, somebody will fill that gap, man. <laughs> there's nothing that's not filled, man. <laughs> every gap's filled, man. It's like looking at a pup that... Um, is doing a porn movie and she's got man in her and in her and in her mouth and in her nostrils too <laughs> don't forget her ears they get plugged in <laughs> somebody will try to go in her eye socket <laughs> that, that that's because she was popping bare months she was popping what how many how many months is that she was popping seven months at the same time but she had to make them feel nice for them to believe that she's still with them but the schedule's clashed, <laughs> so she had to do all seven of them at the same time. Find the hole and fill it. <laughs> this is a disgusting titillating Tuesday, but it's just like, i got to laugh at these pups, because, like, you shouldn't play to that side of the human psyche, man. It's like, you should try and discourage people from being like that, not encourage them by offering them services that will help them achieve their goals when they're hating on man. It's like... <laughs> Anyway, let me cut that. It's five minutes now. Does it make you laugh? 
does it make you laugh it's five minutes now 